Welcome to the Mike and Mike Show, YouTubers. Hey. Yeah, you're Where we're going to talk about the March Madness. And uh, we got our brackets here. We have some uh, facts ready for the show. We're going to blow up some numbers like mathematicians. Do mathematicians ever blow up numbers? I don't think so. Is there like demolition of, of like algebra? Those like poor math students sometimes blow up numbers. Okay. Then we're going to be like... <coughs> We're going to be like Warren Aker's algebra class. <laughs> 11 students, 1A, 1C, and 9Fs. That's how you roll. Good job, math. Maths. Maths. Good <laughs> job, maths. <laughs> well, it's like people who do math, but there's many of them, so yeah. it's plural. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. really good. What yeah. was the... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we got our tournament brackets here ready to rock. Uh, there's always upsets and this and that, and uh, so I fill my bracket out and realize that I picked all number ones to go to the final four. And uh, I don't know who I picked to win, but how much was you? What's wrong? Who did you who did you pick to win? Uh, what? Who did you who did you who did you who did you pick to win? Uh, uh, UConn. UConn. Yeah. yeah. That is. She got to the hospital five o'clock this morning. What? That is a that is a really a really nice. I guess jersey. Oh, I oh, didn't realize they were wearing this jersey. Now, see, here's what's weird to me is I didn't know that Nike Sorry. was doing jerseys in 1977. No, actually, it's uh, 93, but, <laughs> okay. you know, back Whatever. in the day, I mean, Ray Allen, you know, Ray Allen was the man, and uh, UConn's going to pull yeah. it off this year, I think. Want UConn, to UConn's, UConn's going to win, according to you. Yeah, yeah. So I think you. UConn, I got Louisville, UConn, Pitt, and North Carolina in the final four. Yeah. UConn and Pitt, Big East battle for the championship, and uh, Pittsburgh's knocked them off twice, so I don't think they can beat them three times, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking UConn to go all the way. What do you got? What do you got going? Okay, I got uh, I got Louisville. We're, we're there together. And we have North Carolina the same. But I have uh, North Carolina playing Duke. It's... Uh, it's the what's that what's that game called? Uh, uh, the basketball game. Oh yeah, yeah. No, what's it called? Whenever they play. It's oh, the uh, Tobacco Road. Yeah, Tobacco Road. Uh, rivalry. Well, I think yeah. I, clash. I, I think it's the it's the well, skirmish yeah, between I, the two I, I, teams I, 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 that are near each other geographically. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Kind of like yeah, kind of like the Custer County conflict. Kind of, yeah. Right. <laughs> but different. Right. But but very much the same. The same consequences and or. Uh, props. <laughs> Street cred. <laughs> Street cred, there you go. Kay. Nice. Okay, uh, so we got. Okay, I've got Duke, North Carolina in one side, and I got Louisville playing Yukon in the other. So, okay. well, at least you, you're partially right. Mm -hmm. What do you but, have? But I have Louisville beating Yukon. Okay. And I have North Carolina beating Duke. And I have a Louisville, North Carolina final, and Louisville coming out on top. You know why? Uh. Because they're the Redbirds. They're the Redbirds. I love Cardinals and Sluggers, both by Louisville. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's kind of a. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, eh. Okay, I got it. No, yeah, well, that's fine. That's how you pick your bracket is off those kind of things. Well, I see who has the cutest guys on the team, and then I, I pick from that, and so. This is who won. Yeah. Louisville has a better looking team, aesthetically, than all the rest of the If teams. you want to know how we roll, like, when it comes to these brackets and how serious we are, you see this right here? You see that? That's on the line, baby. What, who is that? That's Benjamin Jackson. <laughs> it's Benjamin Jackson. Or it's Michael Jackson. I don't know who that is. Somebody Jackson. Thomas Jackson? Thomas Jackson. <laughs> who, is, who the hell is on this dollar bill? Somebody Jackson. Uh, I don't know who the hell it is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Presidents. Yeah, presidents are past. Uh, history. Yeah, history is dumb. Yes. Like, who would major in history? <laughs> It'd be stupid. Yeah. Wait. All right. Anyway, Let's move on. Okay. So, we want to we want to drop a number on you guys real quick. Tell me what you think about this, America. We figured out what the chances were of you uh, picking every single game. Sixty-three games. It's gonna look a lot like this. <laughs> Like what really, the, what the chances are of that happening? That he, that Anthony picks every single. I'm sorry, Mike picks every single one right, and this is the number. 
That's right. <laughs> Take a minute to read. There is there is six commas in that. Let me read it out not out loud. I'm pretty stupid. I had to look up what comes after trillion. I didn't know. The number is nine quintillion, two hundred and twenty-three quadrillion, three hundred and seventy-two trillion, thirty-six billion, eight hundred and fifty-four million, seven hundred and seventy-five thousand, eight hundred and eight. So one in that. If you plan on putting a dollar down on somebody who might have a chance of getting that right, you got good odds of being loaded. If you ever. Loaded is, I guess, I guess you could say understatement. Yeah. You would have all the money. Probably, I bet that's more money than is actually in the world right now. <laughs> that's and my this guess. This is actual factual information. Uh, Mike or I did not figure this out. Uh, no. We had an actual person who can add and multiply. Or subtract or divide. <laughs> yeah. Any facet of math, we're out. <laughs> yeah. So he did that for us and uh, figured out exactly how cool it was going to be when this is one in... Nine quintillion dot 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 eight hundred eight. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I like the ellipses in there. That's nice. That's not everybody could pull that off. No, nope. but I'd go for it. That is good. Um, and, yeah. Do you have a big upset? Do you have any upsets? In I got a couple of a pretty good upsets. I got I got VCU. Okay. Over uh, UCLA. Okay, I got that. Looks like you got the same one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got Western Kentucky beating Illinois. Don't have that. I don't have the Illinois. Uh, losing. I have Illinois getting knocked out by. Where's Illinois? She's like, this is Illinois is getting knocked out by the Zags. From Gonzaga. That'd be a big good pick in Western Kentucky. Uh, other than that, I, don't have, I didn't do very good at picking oh, upsets. Here's my here's my uh, my Sweet Sixteen. Uh, big one. Okay. West Virginia. Ooh. Okay. Well, I picked. Uh, I picked uh, Dayton to knock off West Virginia, so they're not going to make it there because, uh, like I said earlier, my bracket's perfect. Um, right. But I did get USC going to the Elite Eight. That's uh, that's a lot more than they're going to. Let's be honest. Like, <laughs> USC is a really good football team and a really good party school with really hot chicks. Uh, that makes them guaranteed the Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. and if they had better looking guys, then they could win it all. But they don't. So fortunately, I uh, got no one else. Like no upsets going past that. Really, I'm not very good at picking upsets this year for some reason. I got Marquette the six knocking off Missouri the three. Hey, did you start that? Maryland. Yeah. Why are they like that? They it's on there. I got Maryland uh, knocking off California. And then I've got uh, I've got seven hours. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. For okay. Well, it's probably getting close to time. Yeah. We uh, we just want to throw those numbers at you. Email us with what you think. Uh, email us with some of your picks. Big upsets. Uh, uh, President Obama has oh has put up. A, I thought you had like a big upset with President mm -hmm. Obama. Mm -hmm. You get a hit out on your head right now. So yeah, probably. probably. I know. I know. I would be killed in our socialist country. What? Can I say that? I don't know if you can or not. Okay. Anyways, no. Uh, Obama has put up his uh, his picks. On, you can go on the ESPN.com and. Uh, Look at his bracket, and it's Barackatology. Ooh, yeah. God, he's a bigger celebrity than Tom Cruise. Except with less jumping on couches at on the Oprah Winfrey show. And doesn't believe that. <laughs> doesn't believe in Scientology. Or hasn't hasn't brainwashed one of the hotter chicks in Hollywood to marry. Turned her into a complete weirdo. Yeah. Or named her daughter Sarah. Exactly. Bye, Katie Holmes. We loved you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Past tense. You should have stayed in Dawson's Creek and not talked to Tommy ever. <laughs> ever. You should have taken this candy and gotten in his van. Yeah. <laughs> oh, windowless van jokes. <laughs> windowless van jokes are good every time. Every time. All right. Let us know what you got in your bracket. I'll let you know how we go uh, on the show tomorrow. The Mike and Mike Show at gmail.com. Anything else, Mike? That's it. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Exactly. YouTube.com slash all Mike names are taken. Yeah, Subscribe.